I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Alexander Hamilton, one of the founding fathers. I take one finger at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down, little bit out, little bit in, curved line, keep going, and leave it floating. I come back up to the top, right where my dot was, and I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. I come back over here on the right hand side and I draw a curve line in, curve line down, curve line up, connect. And right next to this line I'm just going to draw a curve line out, in, and leave that floating. I come back over here towards the center and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line down, curved line over, slightly curved line up, connect. Inside I'm going to draw a little tiny curved line, slightly curved lines all the way up, keep going, keep going, I think that's enough. Okay, now come back over here on the left hand side and we're going to draw a slightly curved line up, wavy line over, keep going, wavy line, keep going, keep going, all the way down, keep going, and leave it floating. Okay. I come back up inside and I draw one curved line on the left one curved line on the right. Come back to the left, draw a straight line, curve line, connect. Come on the right, straight line, curve line, up, connect. Inside, on the left, I draw a little curve line. Inside, on the right, I draw a little curve line. Right here in the center, I'm going to draw a slightly curve line out, in, and up, leave it floating. Come down right about here and we're just going to draw slightly curved line up, right underneath, curve line up, connect. Now I come back over here on the right and I'm just going to draw a little curve line down and out, little curve line up, connect. I come right over here and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, over, connect. Come on the right hand side and we're just going to draw a curved line down, up, connect. Come on the left side, curve line out, down, up, connect. Now right here in the center I draw a wavy line, wavy line, as many as you can draw, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line off the page. Okay. Now, come over here on the right. We're going to start right about here and draw slightly curved line, curved line out, off the page. Come on the right hand side and we're going to draw slightly curved line off the page. Come over here on the right, curve line down, off the page. Okay, I think that's all. I might want to add one more curve line up and over. There we go. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is give a little bit of color on my face. If you have some multicultural crayons. You might want to give him a little bit of color on his face so he doesn't look quite so white. But if you don't, it's okay because this is a portrait and it can be done with very little color. You're going to see we're not going to use very much color on him. That's just the way it was back then. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and give him brown eyes. Okay. 
and we're gonna do a lot of color color um, different colors on top of each other so I'm gonna start with gray now this is his hair and I'm gonna do first a layer of gray all the way up and over and then over that I'm gonna take my brown and I'm gonna go over that color too double color first I did gray now I'm gonna do brown you know and it's always difficult to figure out if this was their real hair or if it was a wig because they used to wear wigs back then but I think this is his real hair because he was a colonialist now all of this is black because they didn't wear a lot of color back then this is all black we're gonna leave his bow tie and his white shirt high neck shirt that's what this all is that stays white but all of these other colors are black and a dark black if you can get it <clears throat> okay now <clears throat> excuse me to give me a little bit of lip color I'm just gonna make this tan okay now for the background I did something a little bit different if you look at portraits you will see that the face looks like it's coming out of a dark dark background so instead of doing a super dark, dark background, I did layers of color. So the first color I did was gray, just to get some color down. Next, I did red all the way around. And you can pick other colors if you want. You could use brown, you could use burgundy. But I wanted a really dark background. So I used red and then I went over all of that with my black and because I didn't want to lose my outside lines of my portrait I did a dark up down up down all the way around the outside line on my portrait so you can really see that initial line kind of sets them apart from the background up down up down really dark okay this all needs to be darker but you get the general idea Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Alexander Hamilton all colored in. He was one of the founding fathers in the colonial days. His life was turned into a musical called Hamilton, which some of you might know. And he died in a duel with Aaron Burr. You can look that up and find out about that too. Super interesting character in American history. Okay, bye-bye.